We're trying to decide if we should take this fire burned area or if we should take the road walk. We decided to take the road because of a potential arsenic poisoning going through the file closure. Um, and we're back on the PCT. Selfies? Group selfies? Okay. So last year I hid a note for myself somewhere in this area. So I'm gonna go seek it out. Hopefully it's still there. It's still here. Hey! It's here! <laughs> yes! I wonder what I said! I'm so excited! Hey, Arrow, if you're reading this, that means you're a through hack in the PCT. Whoop! I'm so excited for the adventures you will have. I hope this letter finds you well and that your body is holding up. You have found a fantastic family. <laughs> I'm going to remind you what I would tell myself, AT self, if I would go back. This is a long trail, an incredibly long trail. Much can happen along this trail, good things and bad things. Embrace the experience. If you want to crush miles, crush it. If you want to take an easy day and chill by an amazing spot, do it. Allow yourself to follow whims. For back in the real world, those opportunities are fewer, and it's often irresponsible to go off and do whimsical things. Stop, breathe, talk to people, be still, be fast. Enjoy the simple life once again. Enjoy the beauty once again. Enjoy the community because there's nothing like this experience, your experience. Enjoy the journey, Arrow. So this is also the place where I took my first steps on the PCT. It's cold this morning. Higher elevation means colder days, which is awesome, but never thought I would be happy to see the sunrise with all the warmth. hot now uh, but I'm about to go take a break by a creek so that's exciting look at that it's a slug snail it's a snail hello how long that was close to me but it's it's scary because I'm in the water Taking a break by some hot springs. It's a really awesome spot. Uh, there's a lot of locals uh, here, as you can see. And there's been a high fecal matter count and a brain eating, eating amoeba found in these waters, so I decided to just soak my feet. So there seems to be a pattern. We come from civilization, go up into a mountain range cross over the mountains and then back down to a valley where usually civilization awaits and then back up into the mountains over and over again. Yes! I'm excited. Yeah, My dream came true. We got root beer float trail magic. Uh, Coppertone travels uh, up and down the PCT just giving trail magic all summer long. When you can't find shade, you gotta make your own. Not learning. <laughs> 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 
Miss Yoga? When you were... So that lake may be causing microclimate because it's really cold and misty and windy today. But I'm okay with that. Coming from the peaceful wilderness to busy roads is always really stressful. This is a popular spot to hang out. Just left McDonald's, spent all afternoon there. Now I'm walking through a really creepy tunnel. Definitely really misty, and it looks like it, it may have rained last night. There's a lot of uh, stuff on my tent, stuff on my shoes. Got a little wet. You know, the good thing about all this rain and mist is that you don't have to carry as much water. <laughs> Only. I'm carrying seven, seven liters. It's a 27 mile carry in between places, water sources. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, that's like 15 pounds of water. Um, it's half of my pack weight. Ridiculous. So there's the trail. We have over 15 miles of complete uphill today. Uh, can't see the mountain that we're climbing, but I'm sure it's there. I've been dodging this poodle dog bush. It's a plant that's similar to poison oak and poison ivy. It grows in a burn area. Uh, I don't think I'm allergic, but I don't want to find out. Wow, the fog is pulling away. So now we can see the hills we gotta climb. Yeah, I just finished uh, the last of the uphill for today. Over 5,000 feet of elevation gain over like 15 miles. And now it's all downhill into Wrightwood.